It took a while for Disney to start filming Descendants 4, but the sequel was given a working title called The Pocket Watch. However, as filming production officially started, Disney got an official name for Descendants 4, The Rise of Red. But interestingly, the name isn't the only thing changing in Descendants 4. The plot and development will also take a different turn from the usual Descendants universe. Although it will be the familiar Disney vibe with great music and dance steps, many other things viewers know about Descendants will change. Disney's branded television president Io Davis explained that Descendants 4 would give viewers a new experience, as the level of creativity in this part will improve from the last three. So, according to Io, it will be a whole new thing for Disney too, because they are very intentional about raising the bar and doing what they've never done before. Disney movies aren't just great because of the plot, fantasy or moral it teaches. It also keeps many fans glued to the end due to the original musicals and dances, and Descendants have the perfect way to pass messages through music, so the music plan for Descendants 4 will bring a new look to the series. Also, it will be much better and improved than the previous ones, which will get to the viewers and make them feel like they are right in Auradon themselves. So, this film will include seven pieces of new original music and some old classic ones that fans of Disney have heard before. The last Descendants movie focused on how Mal, Evie, Carlos and Jay returned to the Isle of the Lost to allow some of the younger villain kids to come to Auradon. And even though Mal's father Hades almost ruined that for the villain's kids, everyone still got a happy ending, with the main characters getting their love match. Then the final scene reveals the four of them heading to the Isle of the Lost, but unfortunately, that will be the last time the fans will see them all together again. So, in Descendants 4, the story is no longer about the villain kids and their extreme successor Auradon. Instead, it will be about the new set of characters, and Disney is going Going back in time with this, and this installment of Descendants will draw many inspirations from Alice in Wonderland. Also, because it's a different story now, the plot will only work with new characters – Red, the daughter of the Queen of Hearts, and Chloe, the daughter of Cinderella – as they meet at a happy gathering where trouble soon starts. These two opposite characters will come together to stop a dangerous coup from happening in the future at Auradon. But to do this, they will have to travel back in time, and the best way to do this is by using the White Rabbit's magic pocket watch, which Mad Hatter's son designed. So, you should know that Descendants 4 doesn't continue the things that have happened in the past trilogy, but will feature a whole new story. And that raises the question of what would happen to the former cast members since the new plot of Descendants only partially includes them. The cast of Descendants from the past movies is sitting this one out, not because there's a new storyline for the fourth part, but because of a tragic incident before Descendants 3 was released in 2019. While expecting Descendants 3 to premiere, one of the main cast members of the film, Cameron Boyce, who played Carlos, passed away after suffering from an epileptic seizure at the age of 20, and the other cast members didn't feel comfortable enough to carry on without him, as it would never remain the same on set. Dove Cameron spoke on not returning to the franchise for Descendants 4 earlier this year, saying, I'm going to say no, because I don't think it would be the same without the whole original cast. It would just be different now. And also, we did it. We told a full story. We completed it. Even before the unfortunate incident with Cameron happened, Dove already predicted that Descendants 3 would be the end. Although the actress deleted some of these posts from her Instagram, she mentioned recording her last song for Descendants after filming the third part, so it'll be hard for the actress to go from that to feature in the continuation of Descendants. Dove added that the news of Cameron's demise was shocking, and that she and the other cast members still find it hard to recover. However, Dove didn't stop there. She made her opinion known about Disney going ahead to make Descendants 4, despite the terrible thing, saying it might be wrong to do so. It's mixed signals for Sophia Carson, who played Evie in the film, because in 2019, on the exact day that Descendants 3 was released, the actress bade her character Evie goodbye. She wrote to Evie, saying, As I write this, I cannot bring myself to say goodbye to you, but this is not a goodbye. You and I are bound at heart from here until eternity, and until then, I will love you, Evie, forever and for always. In 2020, it was a different story for Sophia, as she would have been glad to continue continue to be in the narration that makes her Evie. At the time, she said, Evie gave me so much. She's just this gift that keeps on giving. She brings so much joy to my life, so I would love to. Fast forward to 2022, Sophia agreed that they finished their own part of the story, and she wished the
franchise success after they decided to take the story further. Also without the others in Descendants 4, Boo Boo Stewart, who played Jay, won't be returning too. So the familiar faces viewers grew up loving on the show would no longer be in the film. However, many new but exciting actors are coming to replace them. While most of the original cast won't be back, China Anne McLean, who plays the vicious villain Uma, the daughter of Ursula, will be returning to be a part of the new story. And what she adds to this story is still unknown, but she's retaining her character in Descendants 4. Uma will have a wicked aunt in this new installment, Oyana, a sea witch who enjoys terrorizing young girls. Oyana will be a source of inspiration for Uma, and Dara Renee will play this character. Aside from Uma, the fairy godmother from the past three movies will also be in Descendants 4 as the headmistress of Auradon Prep. So Melanie Paxton will be back for this role. Brandy Norwood will be reprising her 1997 role as Cinderella in the film, and her character remains warm, calm, collected, and elegant. Also, there's no Cinderella without King Charming. So Paolo Montalban, who played alongside Brandy in 1997, will also be in Descendants 4. So it will be a happy reunion for these two cast members on set. And joining the cast would be Rita Ora, who will play the Queen of Hearts. And she's still the same Queen of Wonderland who rules with a tight grip. The main character of the sequel, Red, will be played by the actress Kylie Cantrell, and she's going to be a super rebellious 16-year-old daughter of the Queen of Hearts. Red will always frustrate her mother and do things that will cause further chaos between them, which the mum won't always approve of. Chloe is another main character, a 16-year-old daughter of Cinderella, who can be very smart but lacks real-world experience. And Malia Baker will portray this character. And many other supporting cast members are waiting to take you through the magical world of the Descendants again after so many years. The cast aren't the only ones experiencing a significant change regarding Descendants 4. And so the director, Kenny Ortega, who has been with the franchise since Descendants started, will be stepping down for Jennifer Fang to take over. Jennifer would also be serving as an executive producer on the film, so expect Descendants 4 to take a whole new, different look from the past installments. Many fans have been asking Disney to make Descendants 4 since 2019. However, some other fans aren't happy with this new installment as they think it makes Disney seem insensitive. And that's because they decided to make a film after Cameron's demise. Although Cameron and the previous cast members could be mentioned and remembered in this new sequel, the fans think that Descendants 4 is unnecessary. The fans say that the movie wouldn't remain the same without Cameron and the original cast, and many have vowed not to continue watching The Descendants. However, the fans' anger isn't just because Disney is making the film despite the sad event. It's also because after Cameron passed, Disney cancelled Descendants and promised there would be no more after that. Even the actress Dove mentioned that they cancelled the whole thing for their well-being, and she also seems surprised to find that the film had been greenlit again. Also, a more significant clue from Descendants 3 showed that Disney didn't initially plan to continue the film. In the past, Descendants movies usually ended in a line that said, you didn't think this was the end of the story, did you? But this wasn't included at the end of Descendants 3, and it further enhanced the belief that Disney won't revisit the universe. So there's been a huge drama and sadness behind the making of Descendants 4, and despite the back and forth, the filming started in September 2022. The filming location is Atlanta, Georgia, and as of now, Descendants 4 should be wrapping up filming, and before 2023 ends, they would have finished with post-production editing and details. So, viewers should expect to revisit the fantasy world of Auradon yet again in 2023, with higher expectations, because it's coming with a huge difference. So, what do you think of these 10 things you learned before Descendants 4's release? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and thanks for watching.